All right, ready for section two on greatest common factor and simplifying fractions. I'm sure you remember that the greatest common factor, or GCF, is the largest factor of all the numbers in the set. You can also look at it as the largest number that divides evenly into all the numbers. Being able to find the GCF allows you to simplify fractions. To simplify a fraction, you must find the GCF of the numerator and denominator, divide both numbers by the GCF, and write down the result of each division problem. So here are some examples. We're going to simplify each fraction. Okay, so 9 and 15. Here's what you need to do. You need to think, what are the factors of 9 and 15? So I'm going to make a little list here. Factors are numbers that go into 9. So, of course, 1 goes into 9, and 3, and 9. And what goes into 15? 1, 3, 5, 15. And then what you need to do is find the biggest one that they have in common. You'll notice that they both have a 3 in common. It's the biggest one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and divide both parts of this fraction by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So 3 fifths is that fraction reduced. All right, how about 20 and 25? What goes into 20? 1, 2, 10, 4, 5. Notice they're not in order. Sorry. What goes into 25? 1, 5, 25. I missed one up here. The biggest one that they have in common is 5. So their greatest common factor? Divide top and bottom by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So 4 fifths. How about 14 and 21? And 14, 1, 2, 7, 14, 21, 1, 3, 7, 21, 7 is their greatest common factor. Divide top and bottom by 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 21 divided by 7 is 3. So 2 thirds. All right, go ahead and do your section 2 practice problems.